what's up everybody and welcome to how I'm gonna show you how to do the fire drill achievement on Halo 5 Guardians so we're gonna load up excavation on heroic you can do this on legendary but good luck so we're gonna do this on heroic and so um, I was just checking something uh, right now we're gonna run you can do this pretty simply so you don't have to run too much I did this in 13 minutes so you want to command your guys to hop on the warthog you will want to keep this alive as you'll see a little bit later doesn't matter if the other guy jumps on the mongoose or not but you just want to make your way through this part of the section of driving as quickly as you can. You don't really have to take out much, but there is a warthog with two soldiers that spawn on it. So you might want to uh, command your guys to take out that using up on the D-pad. This is what I suggest for anything like this. So as you're going to see, command them, take it out, just because it can be a real pain, and if they damage your Warthog to the point of where it's fire, on fire, you don't really want to take it to the next part. You're going to see, I made a mistake there, lost track of where my actual cursor was over. Guardian's got a hell of a signal voice. Can we do autopilot retrieval? Bring the pelican down to us. Mayday! Mayday! We're taking fire! Then go Mayday. up. Not with those ships shooting everything out of the sky. So normally, you hop off the warthog. But, as you're going to see here, you can actually take the warthog above the wreckage. Uh, you want to jump over. Take the Not really it. gracefully. Governor Slow. But, we need wiggle your way around. Down. And you can get the warthog into the section. So what I was doing, I was just getting Tanaka, who just was on the back of a warthog, uh, targets to shoot at, just so we can prioritize. And he's not doing nothing. She's not doing nothing. But as we're going, you know, this also gets the other two guys doing stuff as well if you just move them, move them along this is a good way to get the savior achievement as well uh, where you have to keep six of these normal soldiers alive but as you can see we're just the warthog's taking a little too much damage back it up a bit and just keep on marking targets for the AI on your back. You know, you can do this with a co-op partner. I will be open to running this through with other people. You know, if you want to you want to do this, if you're having trouble, by all means, just let me know. Send me an invite. I'll help you guys out. I'll be doing this again with my buddy M Dog this middle and Vic 7 VPN just because they haven't done it and I just wanted to go through and make sure I could do it, know what to do. I do have a save file at the end, so also I'm wondering if because I saved it right near the end at like 13 minutes, if we boot it up, it's gonna still be 13 minutes. And we can just easily run through the last part. So that's something that I might update in the annotations or in the description. Uh, might make it easier. But we'll see. I'll try it out with my friend MDog or Vic 7GPN. We'll see what's going on. So right now, you can see my Warhog's a little on fire, but it's okay. We're making it through. And as you can see, there's about two, four, six Marines here. Plus, there's about four or five Marines that join you as well. So you just move up, you know, and there's going to be some dialogue that's going on. Just normal stuff. Between Cortana and this general guy. So once all of this is done, change is going to come for all of us, human 
them created alike. She's bringing a new dawn. I'll attempt to be part of it. I see my time There's is a up. checkpoint. Good what I also do one. is I've been saving Goodbye. it. They're between us and the felons. Weapons free. So, not right here. I don't save it here, but I do save the mission at certain checkpoints. So again, I'm just commanding people to take out, take out enemies and keeping the warthog back. Just in case, like if it blows up, you're dead, and then you have to do this whole part again. So I'm just keeping it nice and far away. It can take a few hits even if it's on fire. And there. So, kill a soldier there, but. I'm out of the vehicle. So, technically, I would have got the achievement again. I already had the savior achievement. As you can see, I had about, I think, seven guys left and for some reason you know my thing didn't pop right away it's supposed to be there but I don't know what's going on just waiting around and Aries there's clear. the checkpoint to so knock finally out. How do we get the elevator moving? Got the control and now uh, must be here somewhere Got it. Drop it. So we're making good time here. You know, we're this is the longest part at this point. And then after that, you're just running through a bit more. And that takes maybe a minute, two minutes max. Pick up the rail gun just because you can hit some knights and the guys with the turrets pretty good. They've registered more operations than any other fire team in the UNS. And I like fighting up here because you can see exactly. further away. Like, you can see all the way down at either end, pretty much. So you got good coverage. Incoming and there is three waves of this. And they do increase. First wave is just soldiers and crawlers. Next wave has um, the turret guys. Soldiers and crawlers, and then the last wave is our knight. So again, you know, always utilize your AI. They are pretty dumb when it comes to uh, shooting. If you're not giving any direction, I've seen I've seen AI just stand around guys and just look at them. I wasn't really paying attention to the time on this. I was just running through it. But when I realized, you know, it should be making pretty good time. I still kept it really going really quickly, but I played it smart. And then there was the last one. The problem sometimes is like you won't be able to find one. One or two, and that takes about 10, 20, 30 seconds to find them, and that's adding up on your time. But going the way with the Warthog really helps in the first section, being able to bring it over. So here's wave number two. So we can run, leave it all behind. There's a difference between running and living to fight another day. Tanaka's right. It's more dialogue. This is why I say it's the longest part. And here I am just saving. Tenacious. We'll rebuild as just, many times I don't know if it actually works yet. I'll update it in the description. If it does, if it does, then I have a save that will be right by the last part where we just run up. And if it works, load it up. As you guys run up, and you don't have to do this whole thing. But I'll let you guys know. But like I said, if it doesn't work, I'm always happy to help move these guys along. So here's the turret guys. You want to prioritize these guys first. They do a lot of damage. And grab it and just take out some of the guys. Take one or two shots. 
Take out these guys. Focus and take it down. Take that position. Like I said, the guys are just there chilling. And then you know you're done the wave when the elevator starts to move again. Can anyone hear me? So this is the last level. Uh, don't want to use a sniper. Railgun is better. In this case, railgun has a little bit of burst. Is there anyone left here but me? Sloan just up and abandoned his Trying to see if one of the AIs would pick up that, but I'll see if it work. We'll find the truth about what happened here. It's good to have and the we'll AIs pick up certain weapons answer. as well, uh, especially like heavy weapons because they do have unlimited ammo. Here I am just saving it again, just in case. So there's the first night. You want to keep on shooting. You can shoot either the glowing orbs on the side of them or a couple of shots to the face will usually expose his face and then you can headshot him pretty easily. So there's only three knights on here. They do use incendiary cannons, so just be careful because one full blast of that can wreck you. So I'm just him. There you go. Pick up the incendiary cannon. For the last night. Like I said, always. At this point, it doesn't matter if the soldiers survive. You only have to make sure that they survive to the elevator and the little bit, and then that's it. So here it is. Nights are done. So, what you want to do to just get a little bit of extra time is actually hop up on the second level because you're gonna be running out there anyhow and I was lucky I wasn't too sure but here the yellow and the red uh, containers that's where you want to be you want to be on this side and then once the guardian drops you you'll be right near the entrance here you drop it and you can see I'm right near the entrance and there's the next checkpoint and this is where I saved it. I don't think there is a checkpoint in between here and when I beat the level. So that's why I saved it there. So technically if it does work we can load this up and all we have to do is run like this. And it doesn't matter because I could be the one that runs and if I die these guys will still get the achievement because you're with me. So we'll see. See, like I said, I have to try it out with my friends and I'll update the description once I'm sure it works or not. And for the most part, these guys don't really trouble you. They shoot you once or twice, but after that, it's game. So you're just running up. I really don't know if this was the fastest path, but it was somewhat familiar to me. And you can't jump up on top of this ceiling so there's no point of trying and then here's the last part I just was able to run, run through them and they didn't really attack me too much and right here the pelicans just outside the last little part run getting and the achievement is popping so that's how you get fire drill and evacuation within 18 minutes on heroic difficulty. So thanks for watching guys and as always like, comment and subscribe.